go ahead and introduce myself. I am Fadakin, 54. Uh, I am playing Lord Edward Clavell, the noble fighter. Uh, last night, we uh, Lord left Edward the town Clavelle. of Fendlin uh, and uh, uh. went to Cragmall Castle. <laughs> I believe we must have caught him right after a big party or something because it seemed like none of the get goblins, hobgoblins, or anything could hit anything. I think they were all hung over. So we uh, proceeded to just kill everything in sight. And uh, we were in the process of uh, uh, going into the last couple of chambers and finding out if we might be able to find uh, Wino Albrecht a.k.a. Uh, Glostaff, and uh, maybe we can solve this red brand problem. It's Lord Clitoris, damn it. <laughs> I thought the red brand problem Smile was already... when you say yeah. that. The red brand problem was already taken care of. They were just... uh, well, Are you sure? Well, no, Larno's still at large. Larno's still large, so it couldn't be completely taken care of. That's could it? Yeah, that's that's true. A lot of his support that got taken true. out. Yeah, that's true. That is and true. Then, and then there's always the mysterious spider that could be, you know, have something to do with the red brands. Mumba, I'm thank sure you for the did. follow, Mumba. Thank you, Mumba. You must have followed when I had the stream off. Thank you. Crickets. No, so are you done with the uh, the recap? That was, I mean, that was pretty much what we did. We uh, <clears throat> uh, fought a Grick, an Owlbear. Um, like I say, we uh, I nearly you found, a, you know found the... Uh, uh, Sildar's uh, chainmail and his sword and um, you know found a few uh, relics that we are going to take back that uh, Eamon is holding and once we get back to town he's going to sell we should make some, a pretty handy profit out of that Kadojo found the, the altar that he was bound to with his uh, yes, all of did. his visions uh, lots nearly of came killed Eamon, because he killed the priest that was going to electrocute. Yep. Tons of... You're not going to recap how I heroically challenged the uh, owlbear and stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, exchanging blows furiously? <laughs> and got what a lucky shot were, off. <laughs> you were only five points away from being unconscious? I, I couldn't hear you over that. Hey, man. I was still li I'm still alive. All right, so I'm gonna put the and map back. As on. as Come we on. ended last night, we were in the uh, southeastern tower, and we were taking a rest. <clears throat> that is, yeah, that's that's where you guys are at. You're right there. I mean, we should roll hit dice. Well, you guys have or, you guys have been out of combat for uh, I'd say about I think yeah we were at, actually at the point to where you guys were able to take hit dice seals and stuff so you guys uh, you guys were taking a short rest so you guys can go ahead and take your whatever hit dice seals you have left back to normal and take. Uh, also for for exp as well uh, I want to give you some more which would be a total of 900 divided by 5. Create or miss. Alright, so you'll have... 180. 180 more. So how close does that put you guys to, to level 4? Not very. About halfway, maybe. Okay. One, 1,130. So you're that... That far away still, then, right? Yeah, level four is at uh, 2,700, and we're at 1,570. All right, very good. You guys are getting there. Slowly but surely. Slowly? What the hell are you talking about? We've been flying through this. Yeah. So is Eamon back, or...? Yep. What's up, dude? Welcome back. 
Gotta get squeaky clean. What the heck? It's about to call wild thing in. That's what your cousin <laughs> said. My cousin's a liar. <laughs> oh, My cousin's been in jail for so long, he's uh, a little bit confused on what reality versus fantasy is. But he's just a little boy. <laughs> yeah, well, even little boys that sell illicit drugs go to jail. And then their perception is all changed. So he's probably dreaming of things that he's confusing for his uh, hardened criminal buddies in prison with. Just saying. You know, okay. if there was any sort of misunderstanding from, I don't know, the the last little bit on, you know, lies he might have told. Well, consider you grabbed his ass last session. No, I yeah. didn't. I was possessed by a demon for three sessions, so that wasn't me. That was, I was trapped in my body somehow. I don't know what you're talking about. You seem completely normal to me. No. Uh, well, see, a good deal. Anyway, yeah. let's get back to the game here. <laughs> Look, I'm trying to salvage this, guys. Come on. Give me a break. You so wouldn't let me salvage Bonnie. I'm not going to let you salvage your cousin. <laughs> let's focus on a plan of attack here. I thought you were happy. You were starting Payback a is a bitch. <laughs> You're starting a family. That's a noble thing. Well, he is a noble. I mean, his his That's actual right. background yeah. story, you know, lets everyone That's know. I've, I've already that. sent money. I mean... <clears throat> yeah, that's my point. Mm -hmm. Alright, so what do you guys think? You guys have this uh, this curtain to the north. You, also, you guys also knew that there was a, a door around the corner to the north as well uh, in a more opened ruined area of the of the northern tower well the north eastern tower so actually basically the wall was tore down so you know that there's a door over there as well as a free action I'd start screaming and freaking out and spinning around in circles no you don't yeah I do I say guys I, punch I don't know what happened I was floating over y'all the whole time and I could see my body mm -hmm. But I couldn't okay. contact y'all. How, How about a two-prong attack? One That's coming what from I was the south, thinking. another coming from the east. I go and over to him, warriors. touch him, and cast Inflict Wounds. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, I, I agree. I think... Let's see. Let me walk into the room so we can talk. Boy, they're, uh, they're all full of piss and vinegar tonight. It's funny, actually. I think that uh, we should definitely do a two-pronged attack on this room. Now, uh, who is it that can project uh, the mage sound? That would be me. I can can you it. project it? it is it only within line of sight, or is it any place that you have seen? I believe it's line of sight. Probably reread it real quick, but I, I I think it's uh line of sight. Uh, you did you say mage hand because mage hand doesn't do no anything. mage no. sound it, oh mage it's sound a prestige yeah. it's prestige press the digitation or whatever. I'm just gonna say yeah mage uh, I don't even think mage sound is in is in five e yet. Yeah, I think it's considered prestidigitation, where you can make yeah. a noise and stuff. Your cantrip. Mm -hmm. I can do something sort of like that with my uh, thaumaturgy. Cantrip. Okay, prestidigitation. And I can create a harmless sensory effect, since a shower sparks above a window, faint musical no notes or odd odor. Oh, the range is only 10 feet. Never mind. That's not going to work. I was just trying to figure out how we're going to time this to where we can all bust into the room at the same time. Or oh, one side could go, and then the other side could ready arrows, and when they hear a big noise, they just come in. 
guns blazing. Okay, uh, so it would be the guys that go through the door that would have to yell. That way the people at the curtain would able to be able to hear them and come in at that time. Or I'd, I could I'd use... I'd say that would be me and Edward going first. I can use my mage hand to float. I can, I think, cast it, what, 30 feet away, or is it only 10? Mage hand? Yeah. 30 feet? Okay, so I can... Can't be more hold than 10 mage. pounds, I think? No, but I'm going to use it sort of like, you know, hold up the hand numbers, countdown, 3, 2, 1. Are you going to do the countdown with your mage hand? Yeah. <laughs> That's so great, I love it. Oh, and that way you could have it over there where we can see it through the door, you know, where you're standing. Yeah, I could be here, the... and then... Right there, I can have the mage hand, someone can be watching for the three, two, one, boom. Sounds great. Okay, who wants the southern uh, curtain, and who wants the door to the west? <laughs> this is going to be great, guys. This is going to be awesome. I'll go. Uh, I'll go to the west door. I'll go ahead and go to this southern curtain, then. <clears throat> I'll get ready to charge in. I'll go wherever, don't matter. I guess you pull the corpse out of the way. Yes, I would have definitely pulled the corpse out of the way. I'm just going to stay right where I'm at. Alright, so you guys, I guess you guys are bursting through the, bursting through the areas where you guys want to go? Yeah, we're both going to burst one through the door and one to the curtain at the same time, me and uh, Craig. Boom, as you guys burst through, you meet <laughs> in the middle of an empty room. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Damn it, I Dave. Ha I, hate the I hate this map maker, I really do. <laughs> <laughs> you do see another door that's on the eastern wall, though. I look and look at the guys and I say, "Well, it was a good plan. It was a it was an epic plan." Um, Mr. Rogue, would you like to come up here and check this door for traps or anything? I mean, I'm sure that uh, it's not going to matter since we when we kicked the other door, it made Actually, lots of noise. Dave, this rubble to the north, how tall is it, and does it connect to this room over here? Uh, it's it the rubble's so tall that you can see that there's a, an area but the rubble is so so high it's just some it's it's impossible you can't you, okay. you're not even going to be able to climb up it because it's just it's so loose and it's just if you try to climb up it you're just going to slide right back down that's just from looking at it okay uh, is there any way that I could use um Let's see, what is it? I just saw it. What, perception? <sighs> investigation instead of perception. Nope. Could because because uh, uh, investigation is... used for something else. Yeah, it's for like... Yeah, I know, but I have zero bonus. We, we've been over this a few times. Yeah. It's just a character flaw. Yeah, it's... Don't uh, worry about it. You'll be able to change it when next week when you guys make your you know your characters and everything you'll you'll be able to change it to the way that you want so so what what was that role for <laughs> I have no clue what that role was for that was for traps you everything looks to be good. honest it doesn't matter what perception it was for. the the door is appears to be unlocked it's a door <laughs> I look around at everybody. Disgusting. They're not even going to listen. I feel like I have failed as a rogue. And I start to uh, get a twinkle in my eye, and I look over at him like, I think I'm just going to go through this and see what happens. And I kind of look at him as a uh, confirmation or a don't do it. Seems clear. Go for it. I'll go ahead go and on. give him the thumbs up. And I open the door and run in. <laughs> All right. Didn't even listen. Didn't even Woo. listen. 
<laughs> All right. Next time you may want to listen here. to the door. A little, little, little free DM tip for you. Next time you may want to listen to the doors and stuff. So, no problem. Yeah, I'm sure. But I mean, you know, since I'm apparently messed up in the head. All right. So I'll say you pedophile. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Uh, I apparently have lost my damn right mind. Alright, so you guys rush in. Eamon, you rush in. This is what you see. Uh, this chamber has been set up as a crude living space with thick furs thrown on the floor to serve as carpets, old trophies hanging on the walls, a large bed to the north, and a brazier of coals burning brightly. There is also a round table with several chairs that's standing to the south near the door. Near the table, on the floor, is an unconscious dwarf who looks badly beaten. You also see that there is a very large bugbear, and what appears to be his wolf companion. And you kind of startled him, and actually give me a, give me a perception check as well. Oh god, not another Grick. <clears throat> Well, I'm sorry. Give me a wisdom check, and if you have perception, you can add that in. Should be zero for him. It, are you asking everybody or just Andy? He's young. Just him. Yeah, my As he gets older, zero. As he gets older, he'll get wiser. I, don't need to do I have nothing in perception. Well. I have nothing in wisdom. All right. So, uh, all right. Sounds sounds good. So that's what you see. Uh, this this bugbear uh, basically draws his weapon. He's very large, uh, almost to the the point of being a large creature, but but not quite. Uh, his wolf and him attacks. Yeah, man. Uh, really. Did anybody get surprised? No. No, you guys, there was just a bugbear almost knocking down the, the castle wall. It, it, no, they definitely, they definitely heard it. <laughs> but you could have possibly heard something at the door if, if uh, you would have listened. But that's okay. A little friendly, uh, all, little friendly reminder for you next Should time. we all roll initiative or just aim it? Nope. Everybody can roll initiative. I do like how it just kind of... Our initiative rolls always suck. Burst right in. That was kind of funny, actually. I was hoping they would have done it different, but you can never... It's I'm not complaining. It allows Dave to get his good rolls out of the way, and then bad rolls when he's attacking. Don't don't even <laughs> think. I was just about to say, is the is tonight going to be the opposite of last night? <laughs> that you're going to be able to guess to, to what your players are going to do, because it never happens. And all you dungeon masters out there, you know what I'm talking about. All right. So the turn tracker's up. Hamid, um, it's been good knowing you. Uh, all right. Wait a second. Hamid um, isn't in the turn tracker. What did you roll for initially? You rolled a 15. 15. 15. I had my token... Uh, yeah. Click. yeah, I think everybody just kind of did it all at one time. Roll a, roll a d twenty one more time with no modifiers. All right, initiatives right. All right, so basically. The bugbear is going to move here and attack. He is using a morning star. Also has several javelins on his back. 21 versus armor class, which is a hit. 
All right, so he gets to use the the brute skill. And you take a total of seven bludgeoning damage. I'm sorry, seven piercing damage from the Morning Star. All right, next up is the the large wolf. You'd Storm think it would be both that. kinds of damage. Yeah, that's. Uh, uh, I was thinking. I thought it would be bludgeoning, but uh, I, I do see where it is actually piercing. Uh, the wolf does actually. The the wolf moves around to try to get a flanking position on you. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Oh, right. the dwarf gets a free attack. <laughs> yeah, sure does. Bites his leg. <laughs> Perhaps his tail as he goes by. And then he moves here to get pack tactics, which uh, is advantage on all attack rolls. Uh, with the creature if he has one ally within five feet. Alright. So he's gonna bite. He jumps and bites at you with uh, advantage. And that's a 20 versus AC. And the damage is gonna be... <clears throat> you have really bad luck with animals. <laughs> Alright, that is six six more uh, piercing damage, and now I need you to make a uh, strength saving throw. Should be minus one for you. Yep. Alright, you need a DC 11. Alright, you're able to knock the wolf off of you. The the wolf basically tries to pounce on you, and if you, uh, you wouldn't have made your check, you would have been knocked prone as well. So you're able to kind of push the wolf off of you, and he lands five feet away from you. Alright, so that's it for the wolf and the bugbear. So you're up now, Eamon. You just got uh, hurt pretty bad. Are you bloodied or anything? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, what are you doing, sir? Uh, well, I am, um... I am going to... I am going to take a shot at the bugbear. Let's see what we got. Shot or a stab? I don't know. I don't know what I was left with. What do I have in my hand? Anybody? You can switch weapons in combat with no disadvantages. Okay. Uh, you have your regular weapons on you. Then, uh... I don't know. It, they're both the same, actually. I don't really get any bonuses off of either one above the other. Well, if you attack with your bow, you're going to have disadvantage. Dis disadvantage. You got or you can just go ahead and use your bonus action and disengage back and then you can fire. Because you can use your bonus action anytime you want to. You aren't here for that, but you get a bonus action, which is your uh, your you know your disengage action as a free action. So you can do that. You can disengage and then you can at least get a shot off on that wolf. Okay, uh, that's good to know. Then, yeah, um, when I disengage, what is that? Half of my distance, or nope, it's nope, just one square? Back. One square, one square in your direction, as long as it's not through a corner or something. Now, do, isn't his like cunning move? Can't he do more than just disengage? Can't he dash or like run away or sure, something like that? Sure, he can like do that, that as well. Yeah. But I, yeah, I, he doesn't want to really do that. I don't think he's that's gonna a good take, idea. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be a good idea <laughs> I think in this, this situation. Well, if you, if, if you were to disengage 
and then use your bonus action to run away, couldn't nobody would be within you wouldn't be within any of their squares. Okay, but he can disengage, attack, let him make the and call then us. move. Just let him make yeah. the call. Um I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna I'm gonna disengage, move back a square and um I yeah, I'm gonna go for the wolf. Because he's probably got less HP than the bugbear. Plus I'm tired of these wolves always trying to get me. Let's see, so short bow. Oh, so you're disengage disengaging into the room? Well, if I move if I move through the doorway Oh that's right, that's the other I keep forgetting that's the other game. They can move through me, right? Or past me? Yeah. We can. Yeah. I can't I keep forgetting the two games confused. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then yeah, if they're if I'm not blocking them then I'd I'd rather step backwards one there. That's all. Congratulations, then, guy. Yeah, then fire straight through there. I just oh. I'm sorry. It's gonna take me a minute. I thought it was uh I thought I was gonna block everybody if I did that. Mm. Then yeah, then I uh, I have no choice. I'm going for the wolf. All right. That is a miss. Uh, a an eight versus AC is a is a miss. You. Runs, can you check your uh, messages, man? Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna grab my papers real quick so I can read in between my time to fight. Yeah, just catch back yeah, up just, uh, just uh, we we were you talking about this movement. last week. Um, you can always take your bonus action at any time. So if you want to, you know, run in, get an attack, run and then disengage out. You can do that, or sprint out, whatever you want to do. So you can you can literally take your bonus action at any any point in time. Anytime. Just okay. to let you know. Just... Alright, so uh, next up is Kadojo. So Eamon wasn't here for the last couple of weeks, so uh, that's. He, he's Can just a little confused on the, cone on the movement. Template, please. <clears throat> You can move it as well. At least you should be able to. Yeah, I can. Would that hit the wolf or would he be outside of it? I'm going to say he's.